I had a little small thing hatched out. And I was really, really excited because it happened on Thanksgiving morning. We actually had a fluffy little thing born as well. This thing is freaking adorable. Whoa! It was literally Christmas for me. I've never produced one of these on my own before. Right where this little egg hatched out of small little teeny egg. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Anim Ranch. If you guys had a great holiday, I did as well. But something that's even better is that if you guys were following me on Blake's Exotic Anim Ranch on Instagram down there below, I had a little small thing hatched out and it was the first kind of animal I ever hatched here on the ranch and I was really, really excited because it happened on Thanksgiving morning. But um, we're gonna go check it out in the back. Zeta right here is living her best life, right girl? And they're all been just following me, Zeta. Athena and Bab sisters. Look at this. They just, oh my goodness. Let's just go in the back and I'm going to show you this cute, gorgeous little thing. This way, girls. Come on. Here you go, girls. Before we go inside of the building and show you this cute little small little thing, we actually had a fluffy little thing born as well. Not hot chocolate. Hot chocolate had a stepsister. And uh, we need a name for her, so I'm gonna go show you this stepsister. I read every single one of your comments, you guys. Every single day, you guys are posting on Instagram, on Facebook. You guys are posting all over. I read all the comments, and I see you guys want to see this, and want to see that, and want to see this. Today's like an update video of a lot of different things. It won't be everything, but it'll be some things. But uh, let's get over here, and I'm going to show you this little girl. I mean, she's absolutely adorable. She's right over here with her mother. So we have hot chocolate over there with her mother, and then Ying Yang, the mother of this one right here, with this gorgeous little young girl. I mean, this thing is freaking adorable. Whoa! Look at that little girl. She's about four days old. She was born the day before Thanksgiving as well. But a uh, gorgeous little girl. What should we name this girl? In the comments, what should we name this gorgeous little kid? She's adorable. And one more time, I'm going to say it one more time to you guys. If you're following me down below, you saw the post about this beautiful baby alpaca. So her name... Her name is going to be Ginger. Her name is Ginger, and that is Ginger, the baby alpaca. Got Delina right here behind Dylan, rubbing all up against him. Still has not gave birth yet, but it is definitely going to be very, 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 very soon. Um, yeah, it's going to be very, very soon. Might have a Christmas baby with her. We might actually have a Christmas baby. I don't know, but I know it's going to be soon, and we're waiting, Gati. This thing is freaking massive. Turkeys are getting big. All the turkeys are still here. We did not eat them for Thanksgiving. We ate different turkeys, not these guys. But uh, they'll live the best life here. But other than that, Bab and the puppies falling around. Everyone's just doing really, really well. Emus are over there. Oh, hot chocolate. Can't forget about hot chocolate. Let me go grab hot chocolate for you guys and show you this gorgeous little girl as well. So the funny thing is, is that her mother is half fainting goat. And I realized the other day that she is half fainting goat as well. Hot chocolate is definitely a half fainting goat as well. Right, little girl? It's okay, I got your baby. I know, I know, I know. Your baby's right here. It's okay, little girl. Oh, look at this little girl. Yeah, but she's, she's cute. Hot chocolate. Yeah, 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 there, there. Go, go, there's your baby. Okay, your baby's right here. My goodness. Such a good mother. Let's, uh, Bab and uh, Athena are still waiting for me. I'm coming, you guys, I'm coming, I'm coming. They stay on the other side. <laughs> Look at that gobbler. You're gonna puff up? <laughs> What's that sound you made? <laughs> no. What? They're doing amazing. They're living their best life. But what we're gonna do is the reason why we clicked onto this video, or one of the main reasons why we clicked on this video, because inside that building, I finally hatched out another type of animal. It's the seventh different species of turtle and tortoise I've hatched here on the property. And I'm really excited about that. It happened Thanksgiving morning. I went out, was doing my daily routines. I came over there, got a freaking fly. And I was like, 
Let's go check it out. So I'll show you their enclosure where I actually found their eggs, where I collected their eggs. I saw the mother laying the eggs, collected them. They were in the incubator for about three months, eh, two and a half months, and they hatched out those three eggs. Two eggs were good. There's one that freaking hatched. Absolutely, I mean, it's this big. It's so, so, so small. But we're, we're, I'm gonna go show you the mother and the dad and everybody that's over there as well. So let's see that. Make sure you guys always keep those post notifications on. You guys click that little bell that's right there in the top because we are gonna be doing a crocodilian alligator feeding very, very soon. And if you guys wanna be updated, you gotta have that little bell ready to go so you guys don't want me to post the video. But uh, let's go to the back of the building and see these parents. Heading towards the Herman tortoises, the cranes, the juvenile cranes, the pair are starting to get their crest. They're looking very, very well. The one I got tattooed on my leg, that's what they'll look like eventually. See the big crest? It's gonna look really, really well. Big old yellow full female right there walking our way, checking us out. But uh, let's look at the parents like we're coming over, what we came here for. So if you guys know what's inside this enclosure right here with this tall grass, inside of here, there's actually an adult group of breeding Eastern Hermit tortoises. And I know, of course, we have the freaking, my God, look at that thing. Jeez. It's literally a highway of airplanes right over my house every single day because Fort Lauderdale Airport is down east that way because I'm out in the Everglades out west. And uh, yeah, but uh, let's come in here and I'm going to show you these beautiful guys. So here are some of the adults right here. This is a big adult female, gorgeous girl right here. And then we got a couple juvenile, well not even juvenile, these are adult males right here doing great as well. Over here in this back side of their enclosure where those uh, roof tiles are, I made that area a little bit taller with a lot of soft dirt and that is the spot that they always like to lay and the day after that one hatched I went over there again and I found another seven more eggs I counted in my head seven more eggs and we're gonna see them inside and you're gonna see this a gorgeous little baby so let's go do it we're inside of the building that side is the fish gallery there will be a wall going up and this will be the turtle and tortoise side this whole wall will be the incubator spot this is where my incubator is at right now that was inside of the garage you guys saw the last video you guys saw that that is now the doghouse but inside of here right where this little egg hatched out of small little teeny egg i have my temperature at 86 degrees so it could be uh anywhere between males and females 50 50 without a doubt i got some red foot eggs i got some central american wood turtles in here uh south american wood turtles these are all the eggs that hatched out well laid uh literally the day before thanksgiving i found them all and then right here you guys this is its clutch mate it might hatch it might not hatch it's right here this one might hatch i still have to wait i'm gonna keep it there for a little bit longer i'm not too sure i don't know if it's gonna hatch or not but i came over here thanksgiving morning you guys i do my normal daily routines checking my egg giving water doing this doing that just a 24 7 job all the time and it was literally christmas for me i've never produced one of these on my own before this one is not for sale right now make sure you guys see my website, BlakeExoticAnimalRanch.com, for merch and for baby turtles. That will be for sale 2020. I'm going to have all different types of stuff. But as you can see now, any Eastern Herman tortoises that you see on my website will be from me, produced from me, because I have more eggs, I have more cooking. And right here, you guys, we have a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous little Eastern Herman tortoise. Look how small this little guy is. I mean, absolutely insane. The size of a quarter. One of small species of tortoise, good for any really home, and uh, it made my day, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoy this little gorgeous little Eastern Herman tortoise, and I'm gonna keep this guy for a little bit, get him to size, make sure he's eating, and I'm gonna show you guys a whole setup on another video on how to set up this beautiful little Eastern Herman tortoise. I mean, look at that little dude. Absolutely gorgeous, perfect. Still has his egg tooth. Oh, look, open his mouth egg tooth right there i don't know if you can see that can you see that you guys right there on the side yeah. that's his egg tooth to help himself break out of the egg but wow completely dried up he's a little sideways but that's because of the egg but he will circle up and square up perfectly in about a week with a little tail i mean oh my god that's so freaking cool i've seen so many babies i've seen so many people produce them that i follow but for me actually to produce it right here inside holy crap this is the first tortoise born inside the new building too because it was here i actually just moved it like two weeks ago right yeah. from the building from the garage because i had it over there because i was actually not even like a week ago yeah maybe. thank goodness before the fire i actually had this inside of the garage and then we lost the whole building the whole barn and this was saved wow that just really like hit me in the head this is the first tortoise 
Lauren, I'm, I can't get rid of this guy. What's his name, you guys? We're gonna keep this little guy. We're gonna hold this little dude back for sure. It's the first tortoise hatch inside of my brand new building. That is pretty freaking awesome. I ain't gonna lie. First turtle born inside the building. But Eastern Herman tortoise, gorgeous little, little guy right here. So I just closed the incubator real quick because my probe just says it's at 84 degrees and it's supposed to be at 86 degrees. That is not a problem. It's gonna be closed for the rest of the day without a doubt. But what I was saying earlier about it being 50-50, wherever the eggs were laid, so if they, wherever the top of the eggs are, so like the crocodilian nest and things of that sort, almost all reptiles. Well, I think, yeah, it's all reptiles. So they make a nest. For these guys, it's only about six inches. So the eggs that are down deeper would be the colder ones. And the ones hotter to the sun would be the warmer ones because they're closer to the sun. So the hotter ones are gonna be the females and the ones that are down colder are gonna be the males. But if you keep at 86 degrees and you don't really cook them or you don't make it too cold, you should get from the clutch, you should get half and half so that you make uh, a good sex ratio for the offspring here on the ranch. So I'm not just selling straight females to you guys. I'm not just selling straight males to you guys. I'm selling half and half. So that is the reason why I keep at 86 degrees. If I wanted to hatch out something and make sure it's more females or more males, you could actually do it in another way. That's why I have other incubators here. These are just small little incubators for those situations. Um, but I will be getting a lot bigger incubators because that is the main reason why I have the ranch. Many people ask me that is because I breed turtles and tortoises and I wanna get into more of the rare functionally almost extinct turtles that are out there in the world. It's the reason why I have this right here. Because it's gonna be for all the rare stuff that needs to be watched 24 seven right here. So it's gonna be, it's, I plan. You guys think I don't plan? I'm always planning the future. I know what I have my hands on. I love all the people that support me. I appreciate everybody that supports me, but the ones that think I'm doing something wrong, we're all learning every day. If you're not learning something, you're doing something wrong. So we learn every single day. I like to be positive about everything. I like to be calm about everything. And yeah, let's get back to this freaking gorgeous turtle. Cause my God, I have a turtle inside my building. That's absolutely insane. Like, wow. So yeah, this guy is pretty much ready to go tomorrow. I'll set up a whole enclosure for him. He doesn't need anything big at all. I'm gonna show him some greens tomorrow as well. Everything's dried up. He's nice and warm. He's doing absolutely great. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys all later. Peace out everybody.